Welcome back to the step-by-step -step guide on how to trade the derivatives market. Now, whenever you're trading the derivatives market or whenever you're trading outside of the spot market, you need to know how to calculate leverage. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to calculate leverage, how to calculate stop loss, liquidation price, and also taking profit. Because it's very important every time we trade, we're trading to actually make money. So I'm gonna take you through all these steps with regards to how to calculate them. Then in our next class, we're gonna actually have a look at cross margin and isolated margin. Because these trading modes are very important if you're just getting started into the world of trading the derivatives market. Now remember, this is actually class number three of our ultimate guide on how to trade the derivatives market. A completely free training where I take you step by step through everything you need to know in order for you to be successful when you're actually trading the futures market. Now, let me share with you my screen and let's get started. All right, now let's calculate this leverage using our actually position size. Again, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can use to calculate leverage and to also calculate your position size. So let's start off by our $35 here, and then we're just timesing this by obviously 10. That is our leverage, that gives us 350. That's great, but what we wanna do, let's change this over to four, like so. So what we wanna do is now divide this by 0.4, and then our size here will be 800 and 875. If you don't follow, don't worry, everything will make sense in the moment. So this will actually be $350 because we times that by four. So that is our leverage size. So basically we've taken our $35, we times it by 10X leverage which now gives us a position size of 350 US dollars. That is a quantity of 875 um, XRP at the price of 04. So now let's assume that XRP goes to 50 cents or actually the same size. So what we do now is then we times this by 0.6 and that will actually give us about 500 and is that even correct? Let's recalculate this. So we've got 35, sorry about that, times 10, which gives us 350. Then we divide this by 0.4, which gives us 875. Then we actually times this now by 0.6. All right, that is correct. And from here, you still have to minus your leverage position which in our case was, I think, 350. Um, if I can just make sure that is correct. Um, let's see. That's correct, that's 350. So we're gonna minus that 350 over here. So that gives us a total profit of 175 US dollars. So maybe just let's grab this over and just go directly into the platform. And I'm gonna show you how to calculate this with a practical example. So let's move over to the platform over here. All right, now you can see that we have our positive balance here of $35. So now we can actually start trading, but before we do that, we need to calculate leverage. So there are several ways that you can calculate leverage depending on which broker you're using or which exchange you're actually using. You can find these calculators here on top. If you click on that, that will actually help you calculate leverage. So remember on our calculator, we said that we starting with $35 and then we are selecting 10X leverage. So if we times that by 10, the reason why we're timesing that by 10 is simply because that is our leverage. So you can obviously push this over to 100% or push it to 10. In fact, let's move to a different cryptocurrency here. I'm gonna select XRP. And you can see that when you're actually trading Bitcoin, you've got 100X, but here you are limited to 50X. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this over to 10. Obviously you can go ahead and just, you know, put 10 over there. So now that we know that our 350 or our $35 is then times 10, that times 10 is the position size or the leverage size. So 
now that we have 350 we can now divide it by our enterprise so our enterprise again is going to be let's say divided by 40 cents that gives us 875 so that is now the quantity so that's 875 is coming to the quantity here our enterprise is going to be 0.4 now let's assume that we're selling um xrp at maybe we said 60 cent and now you can see how everything is broken down if you recall earlier on this is the amount that we actually had from our calculator if i can just go to the history over here yes you can see it here previously which meant that our calculations were correct even though we were not actually calculating this from the platform itself so as much as these calculations are correct but they are also not correct because they don't factor in your trading fees and also the funding fees now what are trading fees and funding fees when you actually hover over here it does say that these funds or these calculations may change based on you know trading fees and funding fees so basically trading fees are the fees that you will pay when you're actually placing a trade depending on whether or not you're trading on a limit order or market order and also depending on which broker or exchange you're actually using funding fees are actually this thing here on top so it happens each and every eight hours so it's a little bit too complex but to just you know briefly talk about it the long will pay the short and the short will pay the long depending on which uh, side of the spectrum you happen to fall on uh, whether or not the longs are positive or they're negative but i'll put more information about it in the description of this video for those of you who want to read further uh, with regards to the funding fees so that is how you calculate leverage and you can see here that this is our 35 dollars and this will be our profit and obviously this will here be our percentage let's move on to the target price maybe the most important one will be the liquidation price we already know that we're using 10x leverage again this is not necessarily what i'm suggesting that you actually do and you can see that we are going long if you're going short you just click on short but we are going long but what we want to look at here is the liquidation price so the liquidation price is the price uh, that your position will actually get liquidated so when you actually get liquidated that means that your the trade that you entered is going against you therefore at a specific price point your your trade is going to be stopped and then you will lose all your initial margin now there are other ways to go around this um, for you to avoid liquidation at some point depending on your position size and obviously the amount of money that you have and whether or not you're trading on isolated or cross margin you can see here you've got isolated and cross but we'll discuss more about isolated margin and cross margin on our next class but now we're just looking at how to calculate leverage and also take profit stop loss and liquidation price now the liquidation price here remember that we said our enterprise is 0 0.4 so this means that when the price actually goes against us because we are going long here so when the price falls below 0 0.4 to about 0 0.3640 that's when our price is going to be or our trade is going to be stopped at and will get liquidated the nice thing here is that we're actually trading on isolated however because that's the amount that we actually have within our account but again we don't want to go into isolated margins at this stage we'll discuss that on our next class so that is how you calculate leverage let's look at the next way to calculate leverage i'm going to exit out of this now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to come to this option here so here we've got our order price so from here i'm going to say 0.4 so that will be our enterprise basically and this will be our order quantity i think it was 875 and then basically that we are going long i'm going to click on this one now our take profit we said it's 0 0.6 now you can see that it tells us the very same thing that it was actually telling us from our calculator here if you look in our history and you can see this was our profit now that's 175 dollars if you actually look further here you can see that it says that the last traded price will be 0 
and it will trigger a market sell or market take profits and your profits will be $175, which exactly what we calculated here. Again, this doesn't take into account the trading fees and funding fees. And the reason why uh, funding fees and trading fees are not included into all these calculations is simply because at this stage, we don't know when, you know, what will happen or the exact time when we actually close the trade or when the market will hit 0 0.6 we don't know whether the funding fees will be negative or positive so that's why it doesn't take into account so obviously here you can calculate your stop loss for example if you're saying you don't want to get liquidated you want to put your stop loss at maybe uh, 0.35 for example and it will tell you that your stop loss will be x amount of money so maybe let's say 0.9 and you, here you'll be obviously losing about eight dollars so that is how you calculate leverage and perhaps let's just go ahead and place this order over here and see exactly what happens again maybe the first thing that we should do is maybe reduce this to 10 because that is our leverage but you don't necessarily have to do this but it's very good practice so let's come back here, 0.4, that's our enterprise. Our quantity is going to be 875. And I want to take profit at 0.6. Again, you can still change this later. So for now, let's just go ahead and press long. Order submission failed. Why did it fail? Oh, okay. We need to hit 100% over here. Then I'll go ahead and press long. And now you can see that our trade was placed successfully. However, because we are trading on a limit price and we're trading on the above price, you can see that this is where our trade is, is coming at, which means that we have to wait for the market to move from where it is now to come back and actually touch our trade over here in order for our trade to be executed. But we can come to our order over here. So I'm going to come and click on activation one. Now you can see this order in more details. Again, you can see that we've got our take profit at this price point, but I can always go ahead and actually change this to whatever amount that I want. So I can take profit, for example, at $1. And you can see now if I take profit at $1, my profit will be uh, 519 US dollars. So I can go ahead and just confirm this. Again, while we're still there, you can see that I can take profit of maybe 50%. So which means that I'll keep 50% of the trade ongoing and just take 50% of the profit. So you can change many things. You can also change your enterprise from here. So for example, I can just change this to 0 0.3. And you can see that it's actually dropping my enterprise lower. So that is how you calculate leverage and obviously liquidation price will be visible as soon as this trade is ongoing so maybe let's change that back to 0 0.4 now make sure that you join us on our next class as we'll be discussing isolated margin and cross margin because these two here will have a significant impact on your trading journey so you want to make sure that you're using the correct option because obviously if you use the wrong option at the wrong time you can actually lose a lot of money so this will save you a lot of money in the long run so go ahead and click on the video showing up on the screen right now and join us in our next class i'll see you there goodbye for now